Hi everyone, hola! My name is Joana, I'm from Portugal and I'm 29 years old. I work as a filters developer at IO since 2017. So, how my career in tech started? So, first of all, I never thought that I would be having a career in tech. I always thought that I would be a reporter or a police officer or just work with human rights. So that's why I actually went to law school and I finished my degree in law and then I started uh, working in a law office. But in the end, it was not really what I actually wanted to do with my life. So then I changed jobs and I started to work in a company where I actually got more involved with uh, computers, with the web. So I was doing some tasks uh, where I was able to change uh, the content for the partners or for the users. And that got me more interested in to find out how do you actually create uh, web pages. So I invested some time in learning about uh, languages like HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And that's the difference between uh, law and tech. So in law you need to invest a lot of time and money to actually uh, get a career. In technology it's not that you don't need to invest time to get a specialization but the difference is that technology, there's so much information available online, so many online courses, so many community groups. There are so many conferences that you can attend to, so many workshops. So in the end, there's a bigger community online that you can learn some tips and tricks and yeah. So I started to go from there and technology, there's so many topics that even if you're not interested in one, for example, if you're not interested in privacy, you can always go more into web design. So it's not so fixed and you can always find many things there. So yeah, that's how I got involved in tech. So yeah, I work as a filters developer at IO and one of my main responsibilities is to make sure that one of our products at Block Plus, which is an online ad blocker, we have to make sure that it's working correctly so our users can surf on the web without seeing ads. So let's take for example the Girls Day website as we see here. So when we go to the website the idea of Adblock Plus, or as a filter developer working there, is that the website wouldn't have any ads. So you could see the content, you could click here on Girls Day Digital, or even check here the other newsletters and see the material, everything. But sometimes it doesn't happen that way. Sometimes the websites are full of ads. and some users don't really like that. So imagine that in the girls' day, an ad would appear here on the left, on the right, or another one just appear from the bottom. So that would be a bit annoying uh, for you or for anyone who's surfing on the web. So as a filter developer, we need to make sure that the filters which is a language uh, working on Adblock Plus, that they are just blocking advertising and not content. So this language is understood by the web pages and they make sure that only advertising is blocked and not content. So they would block only this and this, but they wouldn't block content because we want to still keep users informed about what's uh, on the pages they are visiting and just the advertising would just 
not be displayed according to what you want to see. Of course, there are people who like to see advertising or maybe there are people who actually want to support pages uh, that rely on advertising. But we also thought about it and we also review ads. For example, this wouldn't be an ad that should be in a page. Don't you agree? So, for example, you wouldn't be able to see the image or here you wouldn't be able to click properly in the Girls' Day Digital. So we also thought about that. So besides that, a filter developer also need to review the size and the placement of the ads. In that sense, this would work better um, as an ad that wouldn't disrupt then the content of the Girls' Day website. In any case, you can still choose what do you want to see or not in the page. So Adblock, Adblock Plus, or as a filters developer, actually tries to make sure with the filters uh, to give you control of what do you see on your web page. And this is important because 60% of the world's population is all online. So it is also becoming a dangerous territory. And some of these dangers are behind advertising. So we try to make sure uh, that all of our users um, uh, that are using Adblock Plus um, are that the filters are not hiding uh, uh, content and they're just blocking, let's say, the bad stuff. And, and yes, yeah, so in the end, we're kind of like, uh, the filters develop filter developers kind of the 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 warrior of the web and we just try to make sure the web is better and a safer place so I hope uh, you understand a bit how do we work and I hope you liked it and I hope to see you soon in our offices so we can show, show you more stuff Thank you. Bye.